don't try this at home unless you know what you're doing. Alright, folks, today I'm at it again, melting aluminum. Woohoo! But I'm trying this time and seeing how different molds I pour the aluminum into react based on the moisture and how long they've dried. Uh, and there's a little surprise at the end because I was bored. Now this first pour is into a mold that has been drying for about two days. And look at that, smooth pour, nice and clean. And the molds themselves are made out of a heavy clay mixture of kaolin clay and sand. Now this one here has been drying for about four hours out in the sun. Because it's such a heavy clay mixture, it retains moisture for a lot longer. You can see that moisture escaping in the form of steam as that hot aluminum vaporizes it and starts to bubble up through the aluminum. Alright folks, as I'm busting this one out of its dry mold here, you can see it's a lot smoother and cleaner from the mold that had dried in two days straight. Yeah, this one didn't uh, form as nice as the other one. Not as shiny, not as smooth, lumpy. Kind of what happens whenever you have steam passing through it as it cools. And a little editing magic after listening to my cats make all the dang noise in the background while I'm trying to record this audio bit. I'm going to fast forward here and make the final mold. It's going to have the most moisture in it when I pour the aluminum in. It's also not a good idea to put molten metal in a wet mold because bubbles and molten metal generally aren't a good thing to mix. With that being said, enjoy. It looks like one of those old stovetop uh, popcorn pans. You know, the ones with the foil that bubbles up. Best way to make popcorn at home, if you ask me little dirty water to cool off this lovely pile of mashed potatoes and I'm gonna throw it back in the fire so I can melt it down and use it for this final bit. Now this final bit is where the whole do not try this at home comes into effect but I thought it would look cool and I wanted to try it. I mean, a waterfall but with molten aluminum. Who can pass that up? And I am a professional and stupid, so, you know, don't try this at home. And for those that care, it's what it looks like after the molten aluminum fall has cooled down in its nice little circular shape that it landed in. It actually turned out better looking than I thought it would. And I didn't get burnt, so that's a plus. And that's the end of the video. So y'all get the hell out of here. But before you go, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below what the hell you want to see me do next. And y'all have a good one.